What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Max Set from Scratch. This is my sixth episode, so if you guys have missed any of the episodes or you want to know what the series is about, check the description for the playlist and you can learn everything you need to know. Now, in the last episode, we got ourselves Myth Gloves, we got ourselves 60 to 70 range, and we started PKing and got ourselves a tier 10, which we traded in for 5 million, uh, 5 million bounty hunter points. Now, we want another tier 10, so we have these emblems. We're hopefully not going to die for many of them. The hope is we don't die at all and we manage to turn one of these into a tier 10 so we can get another 5 million points. Doing this we should also make quite a bit of money from PKing and hopefully collect more tier 1 emblems. After this we should be able to get a rune pouch, our bounty hunter teleport scroll and we'll have more than enough money to get ourselves 85 magic and start purchasing gear for our one defense max set. So if you guys do enjoy this video hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and let's see how much progress we can get done. Okay I've got a target with a tier 8, he's obviously unsculling and very good at what he does. And I assume he's going to Toxic Staff spec, so I can't GMO spec him, yep. So the thing, I'm going to have to try and kill him strictly with my Dragon Knives. So this might be a little bit difficult, but I'll try my best. Dragon Knife spec, dead, please? Let's just keep going. I got him! Oh my god, I actually got him. Good fight. Dude, he just drops a damn. I just got a tier 7 just like that. Oh my god, Dragon Knives, I love you. I actually love you, Dragon Knives. Holy fuck, I can't believe I did that. I just got a tier 7, and now I have a tier 3 as well. Now I only need to upgrade this three more times. That is, uh, that was amazing. So now not only do we have a tier seven and a tier three, we got 91K as well, but obviously we killed him so quickly and now we just need to get three more kills. So hopefully we don't die. All right, I got to fight this guy piggybacking. He's got a tier three, I've got a tier seven. We're hoping to get the kill. I'm not exactly sure what, my bad. I just saved a little bit. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he has an obby mall. I can't be sure though. I just need some nice hits. Let's go for the GMall. Dead? Is that a KO? I actually just died for the tier 7. What did I just die to? What the fuck? What did you just hit me at 37 with? Alright, I gotta fight with this guy. C9 free to play. I'm on my tier 3 that I got earlier. Hopefully we don't die again. And at least if we do, we'll know what we die to. Because I'm still so confused right now. Let's go for the GMall. Dead? Good fight. That was a quick one. That was a very quick one. And we got... Wait, oh, oh I, mis I misclicked. We're now in a tier 4, uh, we got an emblem off of him, which is very nice, let's pick this all up as well. Okay, we're on a tier 4, we made 250k, so that was pretty profitable. Okay, I got a fight with this guy, he's got dragon knives as well. Holy shit, he does a lot of damage. Don't die, please, eat food, holy shit, we're so lucky. We are so lucky. That did so much damage, why can't I be like that? Let's go for a GMO of our own, he's dead. Pfft, good fight. Oh my god, safer? You're dead, bro. Anyway, let's pick that all up. We're, on, we're back on a tier 5. We're back on track. GG, man. Let's pick that all up. Okay, we're on, a, we're on a tier 5, and we've made ourselves another 225k. This guy had loads of poison knives. Jesus. Alright, I got a fight with the Avocado God. So, this should be pretty tough. He's got a farming cape as well. Let's go for the GMO. Pooh! Good fight! Jesus, he just drops the K. T.Y.? No worries, man. I'm back up to a tier 6. Things are, things are turning around. I don't want to jinx myself, but uh, we're popping off right now. Back onto a tier 6 and we made 100k as well. Okay, got a fight with this guy. I don't want him to give him the chance to skip me, so I'm just going to skull up on him because he looks like a fairly easy kill. Gmol, and he's dead. Good fight. <laughs> Good fight, mister. And we get his emblem as well and his dragon knives. And we're back up onto our tier 7. This Gmol rushing is going well. Hopefully we don't die now because we're back where we were. Okay, 300k from emblems. Another 80k in the loony bag. 380k plus a tier 7. Three more kills. Come on, can we not die again, please? I got a fight with my Tark IOD. He's level 50 um, and doesn't have an emblem of his own that he's risking. So this should be a pretty easy kill if I can just get the specs out on time and not die before that happens. That would be great because I don't want to be seeing stupid HP. Is he dead? He is dead. Good fight. And uh, we're now in a tier 8, so just two more kills to get. Uh, we even got an emblem off of him, which is nice. GG. Tier 8 now. 220k kill with the emblem and the 80k in my looting bag. And we're on a tier 8. Two more now. Let's not fuck it up. We need to get this tier 9, we need to not die to a guy in red DI'd chaps. I'm gonna go for it a little different. Gmall, dead, please? And we got him. We fought like three times earlier, and he always managed to out-eat of my uh, combo, but sometimes you just gotta hit up them with the crossbow first and then go into the Gmall and it'll work perfectly. We just got lucky there with the D-Fire, to be fair. No emblem off of him, but we just need one more kill now to get on this tier 10. So please, don't die. Fight with this guy, Florine Doc. This is my last one to get a tier 10. He's got red D-Hide too, so hopefully I can get this done and not die. That would be amazing. He seems to be running around quite a bit, however, which is not great. I just used my crossbow there to uh, 
make him think I was like a range-based account. He's really not eating. Okay, he finally ate there. Come on, let's just close this out. G Molem, dead? Good fight. We got up tier 10. Those are some pretty big hits as well. I'm pretty proud of that. And we now have a tier 10. Let's get this in our looting bag. We have another 5 million points. Room pouch and the bounty hunter teleport scroll. Let's read this and unlock it. Obviously, we need 85 magic to actually use it. But we now have two essential things for when we are baby pure PKing. So before we go work on 85 mage and go baby pure PKing, I want to make some more money. So what I'm going to do is take a couple of these emblems and try and turn one of them into a tier 10 emblem. Now, I'm not going to cash this emblem in. I'm actually going to sell it for 2 mil hard cash, which can help us out and help us buy all our gear that we need when we do go baby pure PKing in our attempted max set. So I just wanted to thank you guys really quickly for all the support you guys gave me on my first video back. Over a thousand likes, over a hundred comments, and you guys were really supportive even though I took a long break. And I just want to say a big thank you. If you guys are enjoying the series, all you have to do to let me know is leave a comment like that, leave a like like that, and make sure you subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you guys so much. Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy's unsculling, so I'm just gonna attack him. And he is risking an emblem anyway. He called me a boss. What a nice man. Um, let's hide this for a second. Actually, let's not die first because that would be bad. All right, he's moving. I'm on 37 HP. That's not great. Gonna eat there just so I don't die. Probably could have gone for the spec there, to be honest. Let's keep eating. He keeps running away. I might have to go for the crossbow on this one. So I'm gonna eat a crab on there. I'm not sure what he's planning. Seems to be no know what he's doing. Despite. Nope, let's eat. Let's not die. We're alive, good job. I'm proud of us. I didn't even use my spec. Maybe he thinks I did. He's got a fury and everything on. Let's keep it going. 67 into the GMO. Dead. Good fight. I almost died there as well, but we got him with the GMO specs. GG, dude. Got his emblem. Got two emblems, in fact, so we're making money. Good fight, man. Let's put that all up. Get a quick price check. Some very decent loot, in fact. I forgot to bring my looting bag. I'll bring it out now. 409k loot. And a tier 2. Okay, I got a fight with my target. He's level 49 with a fire cape. Pretty impressive. But he also is 5 levels lower than me. So I do have quite a bit of an advantage here. Even if he doesn't have uh, prayer levels on me or whatever. So let's try and kill him. He does have a Gmall. He's not afraid to use it. So let's be careful and not die. Are we alive? We are. Nice. Okay. So now we have the upper hand, obviously, because he doesn't have spec. And I do. And I can wait for a perfect time to use it. He's saying GL, GL now. Come on. Give me some nice hits. Gmall him. Dead? Please? Oh, seven with the last hit. That's depressing. Crossbow for the KO? Well, we got him. Good fight. I was out of knives there as well. That was literally my last dragon knives. He says a no as he died. Oh, decent loot because he had like the halo and the fire cape and everything. GG, man. Two emblems as well. We're stacking up quite a lot of loot. We're going to be super rich after we do get this tier 10. If we do get it in time, obviously. Good fight, man. Okay, not only did we just make 440k, we also have a tier 3. Okay, I got to fight with this guy, Elusive Step. He's 5 combat levels higher than me, so we're definitely going to have to play this one careful and hopefully not get destroyed, because that would usually be bad. Let's go for the GMO here. Dead? Oh, okay, we did it fine. Good fight. And, uh, we n this guy had a rune 2H. What the hell? Uh, we got the emblem to a uh, tier 4 now, and we got him. We got two emblems as well. Keeps happening. GG, man. Let's put that all up. I keep saying I was going to get my looting bag out, but I still haven't done it. All right, quick price check. Two emblems. He had a Rune 2H and the GMO. He's a little, little bit of a fashion skate PK. We've got a little bit of framed going on. 412k loot, and we have a tier 4 emblem now. Let's see if we can get a free upgrade real quick. Throw some dragon knives at him. Come on. He's dead, right? Okay, that's a free upgrade right there. Tier 5. Please give me an emblem as well. Aw. Okay, but we're on a tier 5 now. Sick. Another free upgrade, please. Dragon knives. Come on, don't come back now. He's AFK. Holy shit, I'm getting lucky. To, uh, now I'm on a tier 6. Nice. 56, 34, and for the crossbow bolt, for the KO, 23 for the KO. GG, man. Let's open up our looting bag. Drops the yeah. Got another emblem, and we're now on a tier 7. GG, man. Let's pick that all up. 150k plus another 60k and a tier 7. Got a fight with this guy, Stacker. Um, he is kind of low level, so hopefully... I should be able to take him out. He has a... What's, what's with everyone having fire capes nowadays? 62. 62 again. Now that's not big enough for the GMO. Damn it. Okay. Now I gotta be careful because he knows I want to rush my spec. He probably wants to rush his too, so I also need to be careful. And uh, we should be able to get this kill if we're both a little careful. Let's go for the GMO here. And he's dead. Countered him as he ran in for it. GG, man. Let's open this up. Let's pick this up. I've got a fan on my loot pile. How great. 280k in the loot. And we're in a tier 8, so only two more. Me. 
He used another MSB spec. Let's pick up some knives. 44 HP. And for the Gmall, dead? Is he dead? Did he actually... T oh. Did he have a P neck? 73. 39. Crossbow KO, dead? Please? 17. Another one? 25. Good fight. We're on a tier 9 now. We didn't have prayer. I forgot to bring a prayer pot. GG, though. We got his Obby Maul as well. Damn, that's some decent loot. Got to bring my looting bag as well. Good fight, man. Okay, we now have our tier 9, and we also made quite a bit of money on this kill. We made 416k. Okay, we got a target. I'm thick. He's got some dragon knives of his own. He's also got a blue Halloween mask. Very interesting. Hopefully, we don't die to him, because that would be bad. Let's go for the GMall. Apparently not. What the hell just happened there? Okay, he went to full HP, so we do have to be careful. We're 46 HP of our own. Okay, he's got Dragon Knives to a Light Ballista. That is an interesting combo, to say the least. So we do have to be careful, because I don't know what a Light Ballista can hit right now. Let's just eat there. Let's get ready to go for this GMO. He's eating pretty high, too. GMO him. Dead? Please? Good fight? Good fight. We're on our Tier 10. I almost died there, honestly. If I didn't get him, I might have died. But we now have our Tier 10, and that is 2 mil in the bank. So if you guys are wondering where, how I'm selling my tier 10 for a 2 mil as it's not tradable, you can actually buy and sell tier 7 and tier emblems and a lot of CCs. The CC I use is BH and Chill. Basically, you get paid 2 mil or you pay 2 mil and then they can kill you. And instead of get them getting the tier 10, you get the tier 9. And a tier 10 is worth 10, uh, 2 mil and a tier 7 is worth 1 mil. Alright, tier 10 sold. This is pretty much what we've all PK'd in like the past 3 tier 10s. There's a lot more stuff in the bank. I'll try and sell all of it. But our cash stack will have gone up significantly since we started edge PKing. I think we started PKing with about a 1.2 mil cash stack. And now we have a room pouch, we have a bounty hunter, emblem scroll, we have 20 emblems. Let's get selling and see how much money we have and see how much progress we can make. Okay, we've just sold the last of our things and our cash stack is over 7 mil. We've made some serious progress in this in the last episode. We made loads of uh, progress on our stats. Something else just sold as well. And we've gotten ourselves a room pouch, a bounty hunter teleport scroll, which we're going to need once we start Baby Poopy King. And we have 7 mil, which we can now use to buy a lot of pieces of our max set. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is fill up this damaged book, because we can't be having no damaged book. Alright, and now we have a full book. We have 5.3 mil left. Let's fill this up. Next thing we want to do is upgrade these robes, because they're just not pretty enough. 3.7 mil left, and we have a lot better robes to wear. Now the last thing we're going to buy for today are our new shoes. And this is what our current max set is looking like. Obviously, it's not finished at all. I could buy a Fury and like other stuff, but I'm going to use this 3 mil to get Alkin because obviously we only have 62 magic. We need 85. I'm going to be using a website called alchemate.com. So I'll actually make a profit Alkin. So I'll have more money than this after I'm done. And yeah, this is the set that we have right now. This looks pretty nice. So in the last few episodes, we have made loads of money, loads of progress on our max set, and we now have enough cash flow to get 85 magic as well. So in the next episode, we will begin Baby Pure PKing properly with Zami Flames and TB and everything like that. We will also be getting our prayer up so we can actually try birds, so we can actually get overheads. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below what you thought. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.